Hi, this is uh, Pat Michelli from Wheat Ridge, Colorado. I'm going to go through with you real quick on how to uh, wire an Onan generator. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to look at this model number 4.0 KY FA slash 6, I'm sorry, 26100H. So the H is the part that really matters in this uh, conversion that I'm going to do. Alright, so now we're going to go inside and I'm going to talk to you about how uh, to figure out what that H actually stands for. Okay, so here's what's going on. I don't have power to my generator from the inside. I can't start it or stop it. Likewise, I can't do anything on the outside. Um, so I ended up going to this uh, website called um, www.flightsystems.com. Okay, and I looked up what's called an RV generator troubleshooting guide. Okay, so I went through this guide and um, eliminated the voltage regulator um, being bad. So the only other thing that could be bad is the brain. So I did some tests on that using the troubleshooting guide and figured out that the uh, actual uh, engine control module, or I'm going to call it the brain from here on out, is not working. Uh, must have fried the brain. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to show you guys now, do at your own risk, okay? This is uh, to save to save about four, three fifty to four fifty, I guess, is what these uh, brains cost. Um, I would have had to go ahead and buy one to replace it into my generator, and I didn't want to do that. So I ended up buying some electronic components, some switches, um, and things like that, to uh, kind of retrofit into this generator so that it can run and start. In an emergency situation, this is what you would have to do. Um, if you're out camping and your generator won't start and you can't get any action from it, um, after you've checked your fuses and your breakers and things like that, if your generator won't start, then it's likely going to be that this brain is defective. Okay, so you go outside, you get the numbers off your generator. Uh, mine is the uh, 26100H model. So that H um, is the actual build code on these things. So if you go to this flightsystems.com, you look at their troubleshooting guide, you go through, figure out that it's your, the brain that's out, um, eliminate the uh, voltage regulator, make sure that that's good. Um, then what you do is you, you use their application chart on that same page. They have an application chart to find the spec number of your brain, okay, your control module. So the H on that um, model number, that last letter, the, the letter H, is the spec uh, letter basically. So you look up on that um, application chart and you find that H designation and that'll tell you which control module that particular generator uses. Okay, um, so you'll look up that that uh, control module and write that number down. In my case, it was a uh, it was a 300-4923 uh, Onan. That's the Onan part number. Okay, so I figured that out. Um, then I went to uh, to the uh, test information for troubleshooting RV generators chart. Okay, that's on that same page. It's just another different chart. This one will tell you what pins control what. Okay, what functions of the generator. Okay, uh, you'll only need to find five wires. Okay, you're going to have to find the fuel pump, the fuel solenoid. Um, if your generator uses it, some don't. Okay, uh, the field flash and the magneto kill. Okay, so once you um, you look up that stuff and you write these numbers down, you're going to go ahead and um, go through building a box. Okay, two push button switches and one on-off switch, a rocker switch. Okay, the rocker switch generally, all it does is replace the fuse. I've got a new fuse here. It makes these wires long enough so that you can um, take it outside the generator, put the cover back on, and not have to remove the cover and put it back on each time you want to start the generator. Now, you can make these wires really long, I guess, and run them through your floor. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to start your generator in this situation from the inside unless you run longer wires and mount this say to your wall or something you know you can do that if you want 
but in my case uh, we're just going to be starting the generator when we're parked I'll go outside and I'll uh, open up the hatch push the buttons and there you go um, so anyways there's a couple of things that you're going to need um, for this thing you're going to need a rocker switch um, you're going to need a fuse holder the fuse holder is this little gem right here it's just a little uh, fuse holder with the wire that goes through it you're going to need two automotive start push buttons okay those you can find all that stuff online and you're going to need one diode okay a uh, diode is a uh, electronic component that controls uh, the flow of electricity it'll let it go one way but it won't let it come back the other way the diode that you need is a 1N4006 it's a 600 volt 1 amp diode okay and you can find that on your Google search okay two push buttons a diode a fuse holder and a rock rocker switch and some wire some connectors you're gonna need some push on connectors all right so now we're gonna go through a few parts that we're gonna use on this build okay um, so out at the generator uh, near the wire harness that goes to the um, brain you're gonna need a couple of these connectors here okay this is just a pinch on it pinches on the wire and then you can plug a spade into this end once that's clipped closed that spade plugs into it and now you've uh, essentially created a Y in your wire okay so outside um, I'll show you that in just a minute but here's a, a little drawing of this box that I built okay so you can kinda take a gander at that we've got a yellow wire that continues all the way through uh, here okay that's a power wire that powers up your switches okay so then your power goes into when you push the button the power transfers through this green wire which goes into a diode okay the diode um, I'll explain it to you uh, that deal this is for the diode um, wire and that one powers up the uh, generator uh, field flash wire okay I'll show you that when we go outside this one's a positive wire this one I'll show you how it's hooked up to the uh, start solenoid okay this one here is a starter wire this one goes to the other button that's what you start the the uh, generator up with okay you push the button it starts then um, you use the other button you push it for two seconds and it uh, flashes the generator field which makes the generator actually produce power and puts it into the uh, inside of the coach these two wires here are essentially just uh, to that rocker switch which replaces the um, 5 amp the 5 amp fuse that is already existing on the generator you're gonna pull that fuse out and you're gonna use these wires to get this box out from the generator so that you can keep your cover on okay so here's a drawing of how these switches work okay so I'm gonna hold this up here and try to go through this with you get a pin here all right so um, we have switch button number one okay and we have number two number one is the start switch this will start the, the generator we've got a yellow wire with um, a ring connector on it okay that ring connector goes to a to a um, spade connector like this one okay this one will plug into here and it'll extend your wire out okay so we've got a ring connector going to a yellow wire to a female plug going to a male plug then that wire continues on to your switch okay when you push your button to your switch and and create this circuit here it sends the power down to the female spade connector that goes to the male positive pin on your start solenoid okay so I'll show you how that works now that is the the way that the um, starter motor actually cranks okay is through that button number one then there's this one that's called the field flash wire okay this one goes through the same exact button so you got your power coming in comes through here through that same exact button once that button is pressed down it 
brings your power down through your diode, okay? Now your diode has to be on that line in a certain fashion. There's a silver line on the barrel of the diode. Um, the diode has, the silver line has got to be facing or on the side of the wire that goes to your flash your field flash wire coming out of your harness okay so it's got to be that way if the silver wire is the other way then it's no good I'm gonna see if I can find a little diode here and show you what it looks like okay here's one here let me unfold it okay so if you look pretty closely you can see maybe that there's a silver line on that diode okay so that diode has to go this way you can kind of see that line right there so the diode would go like this with that silver line facing the wire that comes out of the harness um, out of the brain box okay so that would be one circuit okay you got your start button and your flash your field flash button the other circuit is this one okay um, let's see if I can find it here this one okay this is your your 5 amp fuse on a switch okay so this one's very simple it's just you're gonna plug one spade connector which is uh, like this type of spade connector here okay you're gonna plug one of those in to where the fuse leg was plugged in on the generator okay so this is gonna go in one leg okay then you're gonna go to a rocker switch this one is a rocker switch that you push down it stays down rock it the other way it shuts off so on off okay so when once that's on it's going to complete the circuit it's going to go through your five amp fuse okay which is this little guy right here so basically we've got a rocker switch and we got a five amp fuse okay that comes back through and goes to another one of these connectors which connects to the other leg of where that fuse used to go in in the generator very simple this is what's going to turn your fuel pump uh, your fuel solenoid off and on and also kill the generator okay that'll turn the generator uh, essentially turn the power off and on okay so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside um, now as long as your as your voltage regulator is in working order you're gonna get power to the inside of your RV if your voltage regulator is bad this won't work for you okay um, all right so now I'm gonna go through this fairly quickly um, we've got to get power to your fuel pump and your fuel solenoid okay in order to do that you need to tap into wire number 10 which is right there it's red it's a power wire okay then you're gonna tap into wire number two and wire number three okay um, three three is the solenoid the fuel solenoid you have to have power to that and two is the fuel pump you've got to have power to that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap into all three of those with with those little connectors that I showed you okay you can see how that plugs in to there okay you plug back in so now you're gonna have all three of those wires and you're gonna strip the end of those three little four inch wires strip it twist them together and put a put something on there so that it doesn't touch anything else okay um, then that's gonna give you fuel that's gonna give you the fuel okay then you need to have spark okay spark this wire number 11 right here this one here needs to be clipped this is the uh, magneto shutoff if this is connected to the other end of that it grounds out the magneto and you'll never have spark so you've got to cut that one so now you've got fuel and you've got spark now all you have to do is get the generator to turn over you need the starter to work okay so the starter is this yellow wire here which goes directly to this battery wire okay this comes straight from the batteries um, you're gonna put a ring connector on that yellow wire there you're gonna hook it up and put another connector here this is a female end and this will go to your uh, your push button box okay this one here had this wire on the starter solenoid right under there you can kind of see that blue um, that blue clip right there replace this one okay so that's just this wire here so what's going to happen is is if you touch these two together that um, starter will crank okay 
So then you come over to here, and this is our fuse section. Okay, okay now we got this little fuse area here. It's right next to the uh, power switch that doesn't work any longer. Okay, this is the start switch for the outside. So with that fuse receptacle there, um, let me put that light up in there and try to get some light down there. Okay, we're going to take our little two little spade connectors, and we're going to put one in the bottom one, like so, and one in the top one, and one in the top one, like so. Which generally, I mean, essentially all that does is make these wires long enough. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our box, and then I'll show you how this works. Okay, so now I've got my box hooked up. I've got um, start button, field flash button, on off fuel pump, fuel solenoid button. Okay, so that goes into the uh, fuel solenoid, but uh, the switch goes into the um, to the fuse um, connector there, goes to that switch with the fuse. Okay, these three wires here yellow is power. Um, the blue is the start solenoid, so that'll turn the, the, the crank the engine. And then the green one is the field flash. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works. So what you do is you're going to flip, you're going to flip your switch on. And you can hear the fuel pump run, and I don't know if you guys can, but I can. It's barely, um, audible. Okay, so you turn everything on. That gets power to everything, okay? Um, then what you want to do is you want to push start button number one. The generator starts, okay? So once that generator starts, you're going to wait a few seconds and let the RPM build up. Then you're going to push the fuel flash. This one here you only push for two seconds. Once the generator bogs down, you know that it's on. Okay, here we go. Okay, you hear the bog? I let it off. Now we have power to the inside of the coach. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it off because it's a little noisy. Turn that switch off, and it kills the generator. Okay, so now, very important part, you got to make sure that you put that diode in correctly. Um, this wire carries about 200 volts when this thing's, uh, when the generator is actually creating power, that 200 volts will come back through this wire, and it'll go back through this yellow wire, and you're going to have some fireworks, okay? So make sure that you put that diode in there correctly. The silver stripe has to go facing the uh, field flash wire, okay, towards the, um, the connector to the harness okay so that diode has got to go that way or that power will back up the line and it'll uh, make some fireworks happen okay so another thing you need to know this top plug this one goes uh, to your voltage regulator okay that's the voltage regulator plug that one you don't have to mess with the only one you've got to mess with is this one this one goes to the brain box the engine control module this is where the wires are that you need to hook up for your fuel pump and your uh, field flash and all the stuff okay any questions or anything please feel free to uh, leave me some notes please subscribe to my channel you never know what I'm gonna be working on next um, this is kind of a goofy little setup for an emergency. Um, it stopped working. We needed AC. So I went ahead and rigged it up this way out in the field and uh, worked out just fine. So uh, now I don't know if I'm going to purchase the $350, $400 brain box or if I'm just going to continue to run this, maybe lengthen the wires, run them up through the floor, and then mount something on the inside to start this. This way I don't have to come out here to do it every time. This cover will fit. Just unplug these wires, pull them through these little slots here in the cover, and then mount the brain box to here if you want to. Um, this way you don't have to pull the cover off every time. Um, and that's it. My name is Pat Michelli from Wheat Ridge. Thank you for watching.